Yo, what's up, podcast? Overtime podcast episode fifteen, I believe. Back another, uh, back at it again with another podcast. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about a lot of things since the NBA has been going on for about a week or two now. Uh, yeah, we should, should we just get right into it or not? Or we want to do intros? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, let's get into it. People, people know who we are. People, they know what's yeah, up. Yeah, they know already. So, uh, the first topic we got to talk about today and. This is just kind of surprising with how things have been going. Um, today, uh, with our first topic, we're going to be talking about uh, Russell Westbrook and the Washington <laughs> Wizards in general, and so far how their overall play has uh, become. And so far, it has been a disappointment. It has been n- things that not have been going as they we're should. We're going to talk about a team with all time spacing. <laughs> things have oh not been God. going as, as they should because, well, <laughs> so far they are one and five and they have lost to teams such as i believe the bulls twice who, which not we'll too get, much which we'll get into later we'll get we'll get into chicago's uh little uh situation but they lost to the bulls who else did they lose to the sixers magic twice okay so they lost to the sixers and the magic uh I don't even know the like the deficit. What was the deficit like? Was it a blowout? Uh, the, the Sixers game, they they had a ten point lead going into the fourth, blew the lead. Okay. Uh, said so the first Magic game, they opened in the fourth quarter. The second Magic game, they had a seven point seventeen point lead in the fourth quarter, and we do that. Well, Ruff didn't then, play the second Magic game, so I'll give him that. And then there was the first Bulls game where they choked in the fourth quarter, <laughs> and. The second Bulls game, I think they got blown in the fourth quarter. Something like that. Yeah, one they, of them, one of them, in the these Bulls games, them like, in the fourth quarter. In these games, like outside of the game that they won against Minnesota, like obviously that one, um, all the games have been like single digit games except for the Magic, which they lost by 10. So I, that one's not like a blowout or anything. So they're like, like the worst fourth games. quarter team in NBA history, probably. They have it right <laughs> now. A net rating of like a negative <clears throat> 150. It has to be that, you know, like they're like. Terrible right now. There, yeah. this is, we came into the season. We came into the season thinking that their offense would be all time, like you know, great offense because you have Russell Westbrook, all time playmaker, surrounded by a million of shoot, a million shooters. Right? You're like, oh, you know, that's automatically going to work. You know, even if you just let Russ g- get five out or post up whatever, and you just let him pass the ball out to shooters, right? But now you see that their offense isn't the best. Although they they have been they've been middle of the pack in three point shooting, um, like their offense is not the best because a they turn the ball over a lot. B they don't catch many rebounds. They're not really a good rebounding team at all, which we we knew coming in. And like we all knew, they're still struggling on defense mightily, yo, because they have like no good defensive players. Um. It's this is this right here, bro. I am surprised and I'm actually disappointed because I tried to give the Wizards the benefit of the doubt. I tried to give a Westbrook led team the benefit of a doubt because I've seen him lead a team. Now he went back. He Are you cried. eating chips? I'm not eating chips. I'm waving around a water bottle in frustration. <laughs> 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 but like I, I we've seen Westbrook lead a team with less talent to the playoffs, but you could also say that that team is a lot more equipped defensively. And, like, it was a top 10 defense that year. But now, like, he doesn't have defense, but he has a million of shooters. That There's no reason why the offense shouldn't be top 10, bro. But it's not, you know? So, and yeah, I mean, the season... Top 10, I think they should. They could be a top 5 offense, honestly, if everything went right for them. Currently, yeah. uh, the Wizards, in terms of offensive rating, are 11th. And defensive rating, they're 25th. Which and makes sense. Point, point, they, should, and, they should be 30th. A point <laughs> opponents points per game they are twenty seventh and points per game they are fifth. So hmm. my goodness, offense isn't necessarily the problem, bro. They the score def- the ball the and give it right is back. The biggest issue, but I don't. Or think, if they score the ball, they give it right back. I don't. I don't think like to be and honest, who's, who's been orchestrating that turnover shit? You know, it's Russ. So Russ and Beal. Oh yeah, to, I was about to say. To be, to it's be honest, definitely not though, just Russ. I mean, Russ. We all know what comes with Russ. Bro. I don't. A lot I, of assists I, and a lot of turnovers. I don't oh. really know like what like 
I don't think the defense can be saved, to be honest, with this roster. <laughs> like we all and knew that. We all knew that coming into the season. Like the, their defense is gonna be atrocious. Probably the worst in the league. I, I think it's gonna be the worst league by the end of the season. The question is, is the offense gonna be good enough to get this team to the playoffs? And right now, it's not looking like that. It's looking very, very bad for the Wizards. Um like Thomas Bryant. I don't think he's as as because we were discussing this before the I don't think he's as bad as y'all are saying making him out to be. Like I, I think he's uh No, he stinks, bro. He's not good. I don't I don't think he's that bad. Like Like offensively, he's not a bad offensive big. Like he can stretch the floor. He's actually shooting really well from three right now on small attempts, but he's he can at least space the floor. But like <coughs> he's not a great free throw shooter so far this year. Can't uh, catch the ball. He doesn't he doesn't he can't catch the ball. He has small hands. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, Kwame, like, no, no, he's Kwame Brown, bro. And like, oh, chill, bro, chill out, man. Can't, like, I'm just, saying, bro. Oh, he literally, what Stephen A. said about like how he described Kwame. Like, well, that shit all applies to Thomas Bryant, bro. Yeah. He can't okay, move his feet, bro. He can't move his yeah. feet. He can't can't his feet. Can't he's mobile, but he doesn't really know how to post move. He puts the memory, <laughs> like like Stephen A. says. And then not only that, he can't catch boards. Uh, and like another thing is like. His defense, man, holy shit, bro. He might be the worst defensive starting big in the league right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, no, no, that's, bro, that's not true. Go that's not I true. know, but go back. Like, we know that the rest of the team sucks on defense, but he's a part of that, bro. So stop. Yeah, he, he's stop not, not I, 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 I believe I believe Thomas Bryant is um like an like an average defensive center. Below average defensive well, no, listen, center. Listen, no, no, listen, 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 no, Christian Wood's not this bad, dude. Stop Christian, it. Wood, Christian Wood looks bad on defense, and he has perimeter. Bro, he's bro. this bad? Stop it, dude. Bro, he's not yo, this okay, bad. okay, okay. Listen to me, right? About Thomas Rice's defense. And by the way, hasn't is... Christian Wood been playing the power forward this year? No, he's been center. He's been their center. He's been their five. Bro? Yes, he has. Okay. The market is good. not starting, buddy. But no, 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 I'm, I'm, well, duh. I know that. With the... No, but no, but what I'm saying is this, right? There is no way on this planet. An in, in average defensive center will look good in that Warriors system simply due to the fact that you have Warriors. no perimeter defenders and you're basically funneling every... He, Thomas Bryan is for, is forcing so many two-on-one situations to the point. There's, there's, there's no way. An average defensive center is not going to get through that. I'm sorry. The defense is, and the way that they run defense, a drop coverage, if you don't have good point-of-attack defenders, you're not going to win games. I'm sorry. There's There's... The, your defense. I mean, look at the look at the Bulls, bro. The Bulls have they play drop coverage at Wendell. Well, but, but don't bring to... up the Bulls because like we're supposed to have Thaddeus Young back soon, so like our defense should be a little bit, at least a little bit better when he. Comes. No, but uh, what I'm saying is, you guys don't have good point of attack defenders, guys that fight over screens, right? And if you don't have that, of course the center is going to look terrible. He's put in so many bad situations to the point where. There's no way he Actually, can, I forgot that is he's already back. I forgot, yeah. There's no way I, I can get effort which he does. So I'm 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 gonna I'm use an example, right? What's it called? Um in 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 the 2017-18 season, right? I know I brought I'm bringing up Thunder, but like during the stretch when Andre Robertson was out, right? OKC didn't have the only good point of attack defender they had was Paul George. But besides that, the other guys at point of attack were not good. And in those in those situations, of course, the center is going to look horrible defensively because they're in, they're forced into so many two on one situations to the point where how, how can they get through stuff like that, bro? Like, like how are you supposed to consistently defend through that? Of course, you're going to look bad, just like everybody else. Well, I'll I'll say this: but whether man. whether look whether or not he's getting put in those situations, bro, he looks lost on every single one. Literally, like if they keep if they keep doing it to you, you would think that you would adjust. And he doesn't like he he literally looks lost on almost every. I mean, no. yo, whether most, his guard, whether his guard isn't fighting to the board. screen, which they aren't. I watched Bradley Beal just let Denzel Valentine run past him fifty times. So, <laughs> I mean, we know their their guard defense isn't good, 
but neither like yo he does not move his feet bro like what the like you can there are certain things you have to do as a center like if you have to carry like i say carry but if you had to do more on defense do it because you're doing the same amount as your guards i was not really good thing, another thing about the team uh that, that i do expect to change hopefully because like if he doesn't then like this is just weird but I expect Davis Bertans to start making his threes because, like, he's not even really attempting anything other than three pointers, um, and he's shooting like thirty percent from three, and that that's got to change. Like, he'll he'll when he starts getting into groove, I think the offense the offensive dynamic will change completely because he provides sure. spacing in the front court. Um, even though he, I don't even think he's starting, yeah, he's not even starting right now. But uh, hopefully, like. He can start making his threes because it doesn't even make sense that he's not making his shit. And even Denny, like shout out to Denny. Denny's making his threes too. Like, I yeah, but he barely shoots the ball, and that's that's that's. Yeah, I know. I, I know. actually look scared on offense. I'm not even joking, bro. Like he'll catch the ball and he's throwing that shit right back. No cap. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but like hot potato with the rock. I, I'll I'll admit that, but he still had some good shooting games. Like uh, of course, because he be wide, bro. Because even against uh, uh Minnesota, he was he was knocking down his shots. You know, even yeah. though like like you said, teams do kind of leave him open sometimes but, but like if he could just improve a little bit like he could do his thing bro like i, I still West, and westbrook's still shooting a little too much for me like maybe like if you go if you're gonna take threes one a quarter seems fine to you this nigga yeah if he's wide he's pulling up it's like yo just just you know take a dribble take a midi or something bro like yeah. Yo, what but, the fuck, yo, Scott Brooks, bro, yo, my my then Tony say, yo, stop that shooting shit, bro. This nigga Scott Brooks is like, yo, yo, you got it, bro. No, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Nobody <laughs> tells Westbrook. Mike then Tony never told Westbrook to then to, uh, what's his name to stop that shooting junk, yo. Westbrook literally did it by himself. That's a fact. Yeah, so I, I that's, wonder what happened. That's a hit. So let me, let me he has to make this. that decision. Let me, hey, man, let me, but so so you don't think you don't think Scott Brooks encouraged him to shoot the ball though. That's no, his boy, he him to shoot mid range, dude. Scott Brooks knows that nigga can't shoot. Come I know, on, right? Bro. He's been with him. He how how long has he been his coach? I'm one yo, and he saw what he did last year. I'm I'm one hundred percent sure he didn't encourage him to keep shooting bricks. Hey, Come let on. me ask y'all this: if 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 this season like goes to, like the exact way that the, their year went last year, great offense, terrible defense, um, and they don't make the playoffs, do y'all think that like? I don't want to be like too dramatic here, but do y'all think like that's like the beginning of the end of Russ's career? Getting, no, I think it is the end. I'm not even joking. I think it's the end too. <laughs> I think it is. I think, I think at that I'm point, I'm gonna be honest it, with you. I, 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 this, I know this is really early, early to say, but like I actually, when the when the fucking Wizards lost to the Bulls twice, I, that's when I changed my prediction. Like, I don't think the Wizards are making it. I, I don't. Yeah, I also said that too. I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though I love my squad, like. There's no excuse to lose to us twice, like back to back. Like that is a fact, yo. I uh, hey, when I saw that, I it, it was done for me. It is five games, but... and then when they when they beat the Nets tomorrow, y'all will be back on me. Yeah, that is never gonna no, happen. No, I Nets will most likely win. Like, All right, but when they do, well, when they do, definitely you, got, you guys, well, you guys will be back. No, if, I'm I'm not is, going to. Yeah, even if they win, we just know it's going to be a fluke. Like, let's just be honest. It's a fluke if they win. How is it a fluke? The Nets are losing to niggas like the fucking Hornets. So, I mean... I no, mean, the Hornets are decent, are, are, are better than the Chicago Bulls. The Hornets are actually not that bad, honestly. You know, what's really, what's really holding the Hornets back is Devontae Graham starting. They need to bench him already. Yo, off I'm topic, just, but well. shout out to John Wall tonight. Yeah, John All doing everything, yeah. Crazy. Proving us exactly wrong, what, doing exactly what Westbrook would do, but Rockets fans don't believe. Twenty five percent from three, oh, right? I here bet. we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 this, really not, this, no, this is just for the Rockets fans who consistently bring up Westbrook every time John Wall does something. Hey, 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 like Westbrook hey, wasn't doing it. Hey, hey, he's not you wrong. Wanna know bro. Bro. The difference? Not you want to know the difference? Though? You want to know the difference? They're actually guarding him. <laughs> That's the difference. That's true. Who they're not cares? leaving. They're not leaving. Wall. Well, no, no, that, that, they no, no, no. They're sagging off him a bit, bro. Chill no, out. If they sag off him, he makes it. But if they, bro, if I, yo, it, it has nothing to do with his shooting, bro. bro. This nigga John Wall. This nigga John Wall getting assisted transition and be like, man, I love John Wall, bro. I'm glad Westbrook. I'm glad Westbrook. Yeah, he's yeah. Here. <laughs> In Washington, bro. Like, yo, did you not watch, bro? Oh God, that shit was crazy, though. And and it's not like Wall's defense is like. Great right now. It's you don't see, you don't see a single Westbrook fan even speaking on John Wall's name, bro. Because they unless 
Exactly. And Baracus fans love this nigga Westbrook. But but Wall, I'm not gonna lie, Wall's defense has been a little sus this year. I know it's only been like two games, two but games. Been in like he, he game, just he right? just getting back in the groove, man. Look, yeah, I know, but I don't think it's gonna be bad. The first game he was bad. This game he was actually good. So I mean, like I I can't really you can't really assess it yet. You know what no, I mean? No, I know. I just don't think the Rockets' defense is gonna be like very good. Why? Why did hard I'll, to play? I'll today? say this. I'll say this, bro. The Rockets just held the Kings to ninety-four points, and when they were when they when they wanted Are you serious, to, bro, stop it. Stop yes, it. yes, yes, yes. They when they wanted to, they showed the ability that they could actually lock in. And I, I, I was watching it. I was watching the game, and they were literally like switching everything and putting the, like these dudes were in prison, bro. In Alcatraz. prison, Alcatraz, bro. You mean like how uh, bro, Guantanamo Bay? Talking about like how Siakam got put in prison by Ben Simmons. Okay. Everybody's put in prison by Ben Simmons, buddy. Yakum sucks, bro. Just admit it. God exactly. damn. Yakum sucks. <laughs> Just say it, dude. It's been five games. Dude, he smells. Oh, you can't use okay. <laughs> and should we move on though? How you how you gonna say how you gonna say it's been five games for him? But if yeah. we look, we're gonna say that about another player, he's yeah, gonna be yeah. like, no, yeah, no, yeah. I no, know, I know. know. <laughs> his entire career. That's Why, what watch what he says. No, about I didn't even bring up Westbrook, you know, because I knew you were gonna, gonna, gonna talk about Curry, bro. We're gonna talk about Curry. We're talking about Curry. No, 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 Curry's a loser. Oh yeah, my that's God. our next it's topic. It's, it's our, it, that's our next topic. Are the Warriors? So the Warriors have not also been very well. Uh, they've been getting blown out. They do have a all right record. For their standards, anyway, uh, for what they were, for how they were being treated, for their standards, I think I think their record is all right considering it's the beginning of the the year and like you know yeah story, they're two and three, awesome. uh the two wins they they were against the Pistons and the Bulls. Okay, so yeah, not really impressive, I'll be honest, but <laughs> um, yeah. the games they the did Nets- lose, they they got blown out pretty heavily. It was the Nets, the Bucks, and. Blazers, Blazers, yeah, they also got blown on that one. So, and they did just get Dream on back in that Blazers game. To be fair, he only played like what fifteen minutes or something like that. So probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, let, let, let's just be honest: Are the Warriors? Are, are we ever getting them back? If you know, what yo, I mean? they are fighting I, I, for I, Cade Cunningham. I've already said, dude. Like, I don't think the Warriors are making the playoffs, and I stand by that because I, I just think that. Steph Curry, like, he's not, like, when you don't have any type of average shooter around him, like, oh, that, it just becomes so much easier to defend him because, like, teams are literally just not paying attention to Wiggins and Oubre, especially so, Oubre. I don't, I don't know if y'all know, but the Warriors are 30th in a points per, opponent's point, uh, points per game. They're the worst team. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. that's obviously at Hey, man, well. yeah. Curry, be up. And I'm not even going to lie, hey, Wiseman. People are talking about Wiseman. You know, he's shown some flashes of being good, but defensively, he's like kind of lost sometimes. So, I mean, that was one of his weaknesses coming into at the least, game. At Guarding. least, you know, Draymond, Draymond is back to help him out a little bit. So hopefully, he just gets a little bit better. Draymond is going to put up the meanest triple singles, bro. Like, yes, he, we know bro. this, bro. Bro, no. oh, yo. Like, either way, look, either way, here's my, here's my take on it. The Warriors, if Steve Kerr doesn't make any adjustments, even even with him not making adjustments, I still think um, they make at least play in, considering the the Grizzlies mm-hmm. are going to be garbage until Jaw gets back. So that gives that gives you an opportunity gonna be to really fight bad. for a play in spot. Terrible. Now, I don't I don't even know if they're going to be able to like regroup from the hole that they're going to be in because they don't have Jaron back either. So like, let's say they like how many games are in general? I, mean, I think they, they could be like Jaren, ten games negative. Jaron is coming back like uh, back. later this month though, right? Okay. Yeah, and so so job probably. Yeah, the the question is though. The question is though. Are the Warriors ever going to? Are we ever going to get that like Curry no. play Draymond trio like and being contenders? Oh no, come, yeah. I, I think, yo, so, bro. I think yo, so. once they get their superstar, I, 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 play you, you said you think so, Bino? I don't know. I I really like. I'm I just think, bro, face. whether or not. I mean, okay, maybe. I mean, obviously, the rest of the team matters. It's gonna matter now more. Because we're not gonna say like Clay Thompson can still shoot the ball, bro, and that is going to matter. You y'all literally just said the fact that you that. you need shooting, you need shoot a great shooting next to Curry to make well, that system I don't work, even right? Think you need make great, bro. I don't. Or maybe not great shooting. Great. But yes, when you have yes, Kevin Oubre yes, shooting four yes, percent from bro, three, yeah. bro, like they bro. literally just need one average shooter in their lineup, just an above average shooter. 
Hey, bro, he Kelly, Kelly Uber was above average shooter. Dude, before. no, he wasn't. He yeah. shot 35%. He's last shooting. Year. That is that's average. That's average. And, and that's that was, good. No, no, no. That's no. what they need. The thing is, though, like, that's one year. Kelly Uber has been a below average shooter his entire career. That was an aberration. And he's coming off of a meniscus tear. And I actually did recently, bro. This is why I say people need to watch the games instead of actually looking at the stats and the box score. Last year, Kelly threes. Oubre had more than more than half of his games. He shot below 33% from three. More than half of his games. So if that's the case, he's just a streaky shooter. He's he's on and off when it comes to three-point shooting. And outside of last year, he's never shot average. So like when it comes to Kelly Oubre, I didn't expect him to be shooting well, but I didn't expect him to be shooting this bad. Like, holy shit, like he's been... Just, uh, Yo, I just find it so funny how when a player comes to Steph and they start playing bad. Oh the, my the whole God. narrative bro, I've been hearing how my entire life. How are you going to blame bro, 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 Listen to me, bro. First no, you off, bro. listen. No, 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 you, you off, listen, bro. Off, bro. Off, Who cares? Are you not watching the games, bro? Hold on, hold up. I want to say something real quick. First off, no, 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 wait. I got a whole, I got into an argument with some be on twitter about this right so so what i said was this right everybody's talking about the Warriors should change their offense and stuff right but i remember hearing multiple years how like i, I people say dan tony's a bad coach for this people say, people were saying billy d was a bad coach for this when he when he went away from ball movement when he realized that the team had a lack of talent right he went away from ball movement and it, them two went towards like you know isolations and, and pick and roll, right? They were being called bad coaches for that. Okay, okay, stop. I'm gonna stop you right no, there. No, no, that's right. because they didn't make adjustments. I'm, no, I'm gonna stop. Was, I'm going to stop. No, 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 you shut up. Let me finish, no, nigga. No, you, no, okay, I'm not gonna continue. let you finish. Okay, okay, continue, not, continue, continue. Because <laughs> you're, you're he's picking, he's nitpicking right now. Right now, what no, you go ahead, go ahead. Wrong, because when it comes to Mike D'Antoni, Mike D'Antoni. He's in a position right now where he's judged on getting to the finals at least. He's never even been to the finals. So the standards for Mike D'Antoni are completely different. When it comes to Billy Donovan, first of all, I don't even know who was criticizing Billy Donovan for having Russ be ball dominant when everybody knew offensively the talent around Russ wasn't that great at the time. And then in the case of right now, people are asking for Steph to be ball dominant because nobody else can create. Nobody else can do anything. So let Steph create for the offense. And I think the reason why Steve Kerr doesn't want to do that is because, because we've seen Steph be ball dominant and get hurt a lot. So I think there's reasons. If you just dig, if you just. He might get exposed. Okay. Yeah, he, he might, might get exposed. Might. That's the reason and why. Because the yeah. thing is, when people, when people keep bringing up Russ and Harden being able to leave, like lead their teams as like ball they're dominant like, players. They're nowhere near the same thing, bro. Like, it's, it's not the same. Steph is a 6'3", 180-pound guy, bro. He's not physically he he doesn't have the ability he doesn't have the ability to physically impose himself on the defense the way a lot of other guys can and it's easier to defend guys especially if their game is predicated on shooting when there's nobody else around bro, that can just, shoot. Just tell so me stop he's not act, good, no, stop comparing him to just other guys. Tell me he's not when, good, yo. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh. You're 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 being ridiculous right now. I I I I I just I just I just want consistency. That's all I want, yo. What's not consistent about it, bro? And 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 here's the thing, right? It's not just it's not swear he doesn't know what we're talking about. No, no, look at this. I'm not even I'm not even because the players aren't playing well. The players aren't playing well as well, right? I I give that they're not playing well, right? But Curry isn't playing the best either. And He's playing Everybody. perfectly fine. He's oh, yeah. creating. Oh, he's creating for absolutely that. nothing. I wouldn't no, say yeah. that. I wouldn't no, say yeah. that. Oh, yeah. uh, bro, bro, I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. He's not playing. I don't know well. how great. Well, his stand. His standards on a good team, right? No, I don't, I don't know how period. great. I don't know how great you want him to be. That's a fact. When bro. his teammates suck, bro. You, I, you have to force. You have to consistently. You have to consistently force three just to get him. I looked back at his shots, and he gets a lot of open shots that he just misses. Steph what? gets open yes, shots. He does. Yes, he does. No, no, he, no, he does. He, no, he actually does. Morning. A whole fucking morning, nigga. <laughs> You're lying, bro. No, he, no. I, 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 I went on NBA.com and I was at field goal by fucking field goal. He gets open shots. And That's he just misses true, them. Bro. That's yes, not true. Yes, he does, true. yo. And if okay, let me ask you this, Jay Smooth. Are most of his shots open? 
not I'll say I'll say I'll say one point one point eight out of four of his shots are open. What's what's shooting from three? Well, I, don't, I don't know about He's that. He's shooting thirty Wait, like forty one. You said one point eight out of four of his shots. Like 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 it's what like, it's like, what? It's like a slightly slightly below half. What you're yes. lying, yes. dude? Bro, yes. if you yes. oh, if you watch the game, Steph does come off like screens. Yes, and, like, he does come guess, off. Guess Steph Curry shots. Which I'll contest. He gets Steph Curry shots. I'm contest. not saying he's that Steph is not missing them. I'm not and, saying and, he's not. And 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 other players are getting blamed for get, for missing shots. You should blame Curry for missing open shots as well too. But Curry I'm isn't saying, missing open shots. Yes, he yeah, is. No, he, no, he yeah, is. Yes, he is. Oh my god, yo. He is. Oh, he's no, missing. Open. And he he's is miss supposedly open. the goat shooter. I, I'm just saying, I'm not. Look, look, bro, look you guys sorry, realize bro. that we have stuff <laughs> taking like 12 threes a game right now, bro. That's there's literally something you haven't even seen before. <laughs> Steph Curry doesn't. He, this man Steph has. Curry, I'm pretty sure yo, Steph has averaged like 11 threes team, in one season. Bro, his Steph team has been missing down. layups, yo. And they are like, oh my gosh, he's getting quadruple. Hey, I'll admit, yeah, yeah, the layup. Uh, that, bro, time out. That was one layup. Y'all niggas are bro, forcing. Bro. One layup, bro. You're oh, forcing, you're forcing, you're forcing. Bro, <laughs> bro, when your team, when you, when you create two shots, they miss. Other team goes down and scores. You're down 10 points. And you just want to get a rhythm shot up. And you blame him for missing that shit? Like, come on. And mind players, you, we haven't even discussed how bad they are on defense right oh, now. Like, oh, on defense, yeah. But and, I'm a, and Steph, I, I, Steph, I'll admit, Steph is a part of that. Like, I'll never, like, excuse him for that because he's bad on uh, one-on-one defense. His off-ball defense is good, but his one-on-one defense is terrible. Wiggins, and, has, Wiggins has actually been really good on defense. I, what? Yes, oh yes, my. Yes, 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 yes. Especially, no, he hasn't. Especially, bro, especially in the, in the Bucks game. In the bus game, he was guarding Giannis. He was Giannis's primary matchup, and he did a great job on him, bro. Like you, I don't know if that's wasn't true, just, but it wasn't just weak. It, it, it was, it was, it was yes, yeah, it was. Offensively, he's really not, he has not been weak. effective. Let's just say that he's not been that. Effective. I, 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 I hope y'all are seeing what Jay Smooth is thing. doing, bro. Like, no, no, no. This is the thing: you can never be a good defense with only one guy playing defense. And yes, they all, they all make their mistakes, right? But what I'm saying is, for that worst team, Wiggins actually. Doing a good job on ball, at least you know what I mean. He's he's doing a great job on ball. I, like, like he, he's able to hold his man in one on one coverage compared to everyone else. By the way, I just want to uh, when Giannis when Wig, when Wigan was guarding Giannis, Giannis only attempted one shot, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> because because Chris Middleton. Oh, because oh, Giannis <laughs> was just scared of, of Wiggins, right? No, it's because when you Man, play good defense, you're, 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 you're ridiculous right now, bro. It's, it's, it's true, it's true, bro. If you are, if you play really good defense to the point where you you can one stop possession, my guy. Defense. It's not even just one possession. It, it wasn't one possession, bro. Why are you, bro? What? It was not one possession, yo. What did Steph? You know, I was about to say what did Steph do to you, but I know he torched your organization. But still, I'm not bro, even bro, mad at Steph chill, for that, yo, chill, because chill, I chill. because I like Steph, and I have been getting oh, on No, 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 Fucking hating uh, no, Curry. No, yo, I ask, yo, ask Darius, bro. I've been giving yeah, Steph a lot no, of credit, yeah, and yeah, I've yes. been saying that he's made these two role players in Clay Thompson and Draymond Green <laughs> look like good players, players, right? I've been saying this for a minute now, bro. But the fact that he can't, he can't score without Clay Thompson. Come on, man. But wait, time there's out. a You're lot of all... people in this league that couldn't score without Clay. What the fuck you think Dame oh. is doing in this system? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dame would win games. That's all I'm saying. What? Oh, oh my god, bro. Dame, Dude, bro, you know the that, way Dame you plays. You know Dame be shivering whenever double teams come at him, bro. That's what I was about to say, bro. No, 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 Dame is passing that shit immediately, bro. Dame literally be sweating when niggas double him. Stop it, hey, yo. So is that the reason why Dame averaged 30 points on 46% shooting from the field and 40% from three? Because literally every team double teams. Without, without team. CJ? Yes, with CJ, yes. And even yo, even with us, he did the same thing. Bro, but that was with CJ. Stop it, bro. You do the same thing, yo. Dude, Dame in the playoffs when he because I don't really think you can't do anything without a second creator. I don't think I don't think I'm talking about the regular season. Okay, you can't bro. Come on. I think for a player like Steph, bro, like even Dame applies on this also. Like for smaller guards, bro, if you don't have another guy that can create just average. On the other team, bro. There's only so much they can do. That's that's just how I feel. Okay, okay, bro. It's it's okay. I, I just, I just right, think bro, the first whether or not, and I it. think, and I think to compare him to like LeBron and Russ and Harden, that's just unfair because those no, guys no, are bro, physically. It's, it's it's okay, bro. I just excuse Curry for this year. 
he should just bro. Miss the the year isn't over. You're talking uh, about, bro. It's okay, bro. Yo, 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 Curry. Good, good job. For getting <laughs> one of him, his starting <laughs> players is shooting an all-time low from three, bro. Like, can you at least wait? So, like, obviously, Uber is gonna get better. I don't, I mean, think, they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna shoot that bad. I mean, Uber, Uber can't team. get any worse. I, mean, I don't. Think, I, I don't think they're gonna shoot that bad the entire time they're there. But let me ask you this, this Jason: If they keep shooting this bad, what are you gonna say? I, I, you, you, bro, you know, if they keep shooting this bad, bro, I'll be like, okay, bro, it's it's. It's kind of hard to get worse bad. from that, though. But there's no. no way you can I mean, I'm just that okay. Bad. But if, if they no way you can shoot four percent for an entire season, hey, yeah. okay. Let me ask you this. What if he shoots like twenty five percent from three this year? I don't think that's possible. But what, bro? It's not possible. I don't think it's possible. I think it's seen. possible. I think it's possible. It is yeah. very possible if, well, if, if this, you if this might keep happening. I don't think that's possible. Okay, like, 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 move. But if it happens, what are you gonna say? I'm like, okay. You're, you're, yo, you're gonna say shoot better. What if? What the fuck? Yo, I'm gonna be like, hey, sorry, Curry. I'm, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for him, I was waiting for him to be like Westbrook player or Robert Robertson. All the I was waiting for him to say more excuse, yo, cur, yo. Oh okay, let me God. ask you this: Jace move is, is this supporting cast? Is this supporting cast on par or better than uh Russ's supporting cast? Considering it's better. It, uh, c- 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 considering considering how it was like before the season started, because I'm not going to base off what we've seen so far this season because I think it's unfair. But like considering the pieces together and what they were before, I think that this this cast and how it fits around Steph is better than huh? what's it? Oh, yes, I, I do think well. it's better. Dude, it's better. you're lying, man. I'm not. It is better, better to have you, you, niggas, you niggas. You niggas are like, oh man, yo, he had all star Sabonis on his team, bro. I swear. Bro. No, I'm not even talking about Sabonis, bro. They had great defenders around Russ. It's easier for a player to just go off when they know they have great defenders around they had, them. They had they had they had one great defender around them. That was okay. On. So Oladipo wasn't a good Ola, defender. Uh, Oladipo was a good defender who was injured yeah. as fuck. Oh my god, Continue. Oladipo was still a great perimeter defender in my opinion. Stephen Adams a good defender. He was out of, he was out of shape. Stephen oh Adams. My- Oh my goodness, dude! He was, he was. Did he not come? Yo, did he not come in out of shape? I'm not even saying he wasn't out of shape, but he was still a good defender. Stop! Good. I, said, doing yeah, I, said it. I said he was good. I said he was good. Okay, so why are you mentioning him being out of shape? I just, I just still think, I just still think that they're better. I, I just still think that the, the Warriors supporting cast is better oh because the Warriors. They don't, so, they, so how does Wiggins fit with Steph Curry? Um, as a cutter, as a guy who can hit spot up. You As stink. a defensive player, yes, you he does. Stink, bro, you stink, man. Yes, he does. Let's move on, bro. Let's okay, okay, on. okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. When Clay Thompson was healthy, why did we even have him make the playoffs if we knew Andrew Wiggins was going to be as bad as he was? Because Clay and Steph make each other way better to the point so that it's Clay, so Clay is so good that he <laughs> yes. can make a non-playoff team into a into a into a, into a championship it's contender. Just, it's not just bro, Clay. No one, Clay and bro, no one said they had to be a, a that's bro, basic. No one's, no one said they had to be a championship contender, bro. What that's we're what saying is, is we all know the team would be way better, bro. Let me ask you this. 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 Clay and Steph not make each other better? They do. They do. Okay, so why are you acting like when just Clay comes back, it's just Clay? No, it's both of them complimenting each other that makes them that much better of a team. So stop With Draymond. That that With you're doing. Draymond. Oh, come and then, on, like, stop and then it, you throw Draymond in there. It's a whole different aspect at that point. So Where stop the bullshit, bro. Yo, stop he, the bullshit. This is not 2016 Draymond, first off. Like, yes, I don't know yes, why Steph, y'all bro. Like Steph, look, first of all, Steph has gravity. Okay, but he can still play make, bro. Doesn't matter. Steph oh. has gravity, but so does Clay Thompson, bro. If, Clay, if Curry's on the if Curry's on the court with Clay, it's autom- It becomes four v four. If if Clay's just spotting up, if Clay's running double, around, you can't double step. Exactly, you can't, you can't if run Clay a box is and running one. around. That that okay, makes bro. it even harder. No, 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 for no, no, defense, no, no, it, no, no. It's okay. Let's move on, bro. You can't Steph run a box and one on Steph when Clay's on the court, bro. Yo, st- Clay Thompson for MVP. <laughs> it's okay. Bro. Oh my god, but you're players. acting like players don't need other players to succeed. I'm not, you sound I'm not dumb as fuck right now. Players. It's it, 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 it's That's to so the extent. My thing is to the to the extent it's to the extent of which they need them. That's why this is why I said Roberson Depoy in 2018 because uh, because to the extent that we needed him on the defensive end. It's bro, you stink. The, I'm not even gonna lie. Clay Thompson stink. for MVP. I'm Weak. starting your hash. Tagging on Twitter, Clay Thompson for MVP. Bro, let's move does, on. Dude. Hold on, does, Ke- does Kevin does Kevin Durant not need a, a second star that compliments him? 
Clay, in, in the in the season that Westbrook was injured for most of the year, I wouldn't like, bring up KD though. KD is a seven. That is not a, that is not a seven. Oh, wow. never mind. I don't, I don't know why. Wow. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why we're bringing up shit that happened in twenty thirteen. I don't want to hear, bro. We're bringing up shit that happened in 2013, 14, bro. I'm talking about right now. Does KD I mean, not need to play in that conference? Hey, bro, KD might win. KD might win. K, I wouldn't bring up KD. KD with that roster. KD, 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 KD is literally a seven footer that can impose his will on the game way better, bro. I'm not worried, yo. Next. There's so <laughs> many players in this league, bro. And then they're going to go at Curry. You're being so Our, unfair, bro. Yo, you're being this, so this, unfair. Man, this man with Reggie Jackson as his starting point guard for multiple games was able to lead a team to 59 wins. Next, yo. Let's, That's all you need to let, hear, bro. Let's just move on to the next topic. Okay. <laughs> I can't God, stand Jay Smooth, bro. He's hey, literally a Let's call the hashtag, guys. Clay Thompson for MVP, yo. You stink. Let's move on, man. <laughs> Are the Suns legit? That's that's the yeah. question. Are the, uh, Jason, you start off, Jason. You got yeah, go one. ahead. Bro. I, don't, I don't even want to hear this man. Let me cross my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Five and one so pull, far. So. Pull, I'm not pull, lying, bro. To everybody that listens to this man, like, let me just say this, bro. Obviously, we don't have real beef with this nigga, but like, Jay Smooth be making me so mad, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! But go ahead, go ahead. I just speak facts, yo. They just hate the facts. But okay, this, I the hate, sons, I hate. yo. Why they're gonna win sixty games? We are starting this again, bro. Oh, yo, on pace. Chill. Uh, on pace. Games. And this is why I'm saying this, right? First off, their best players, CP3 and Devin Booker, aren't even playing at their best. And they are winning games. Two of the most clutchest players in the league, right? And their defense is elite. Like, is shout it out. not, yo? Shout yes, out, shout is. out, Mikel Bridges. Shout yeah, Mikel yes, Bridges has been Mikhail amazing so far. Mikel has been awesome. Mikhel. Hold on, does, doesn't, he, doesn't he have, like, one of the – he has, like – I think he has a top five offensive rating in the league right now. <laughs> in a top five Yo, in the league. I see I seen a stat yesterday. He's shooting fifty percent from three on like six attempts. Hey, game. next Roko? Next Roko? Oh, next he's better than Roko. <laughs> oh <laughs> right now, I'm not talking about that. Roko can't Rocco. shoot, bro. Come on, Roko was doing this thing like Philly, like Minnesota type shit. He still Rocco. couldn't shoot. Roko's, Roko's a, a solid shooter. What are you talking about? Like he shot like thirty two percent, bro. Mikel's shooting fifty on six attempts. Okay. Bro, I'm not, not going to keep that up for the whole season. Well, I mean, Rocco's obviously, bro, even. what was Rocco's best year? Like 20, 38 percent. Yeah, it was like when he made all defensive team on the Sixers. Yeah, the, the, I'm talking about that. Like the, when he was at his best. Mm-hmm. Like because Mikael's not like he's going out there handling the ball. Hey, he does a bit. He, he does lucky. He be doing an in out mid range. I haven't I haven't watched much of the Suns other than opening day. Uh, or or their opening game against Dallas and uh, their game against uh, New Orleans. I, other than that, I haven't really I seen. You got to tune in. Bro. Yo, you damn, tune you didn't watch the Denver game last night, bro. That was a good game. That that no, game was good, bro. Even though I was mad, I know it was a great yeah, game. Will Barton is a loser, <laughs> right? All the, all the <laughs> that's that's your boy, Will Barton. Because I, I compare him to Rocco because I remember like him coming into the league. I was like, oh, that's Rocco like player right there. Bro, he can dribble like that is so disrespectful, man. I mean, coming into the league, that was not disrespectful, bro. Oh, coming to league, okay, yeah, bro. his handle was not what it is now. Shout out Monty, shout out Monty. But like, like you know, the Suns as a team, their defense is great. Da, like all three of their best players aren't even playing well, and they're still winning games. Their bench unit is elite. Yo, Langston Galloway does not miss any corner threes, which is such like, I don't think he's gonna continue this. But it's like beautiful. You got like one of the quickest releases in the league, yo. But it's like, like the amount of shooters they have in their team, the depth, the defense. Like, I'm sorry, bro. That there's no way this team is not gonna be on a 60 win pace, bro. They're like they they give they give me so much, um, they give me so much 18, 17, 18 Rockets vibes. It's crazy. Except like a better, more versatile version. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, if, right, if they, if they were, if, okay, because I, I, I still don't know about that 60 pace win shit, but uh, the thing is, if, if, let's say they are like, they finish like a second seed, right? What Yo, do you get Devin Booker MVP, bro? I'm, I'm fading that, bro, <laughs> on site. I'm okay, no, joking. I don't think he's going to get MVP because I think a lot of people are going to look at Chris Paul as the reason why they are what they are. No, I don't think that. They'll get that nigga MVP. No, no, Devin Booker is going to win MVP most likely. I don't he know. Would, but would, I, be, I think, be, I'm not going to lie, the guy that, 
not gonna lie, bro. My people are gonna get on me for this, but I think if this guy keeps balling the way he's been balling, which is you know kind of unlikely, um, and the team stays the way they are, I think Sabonis is low key gonna be in that convo, bro. Not gonna lie to you, dude. MVP. Dude, Dude, think of bro. Have you not seen what Sabonis is doing right now? It's the Jokic of the East, bro. It's, okay, okay. Killing it right <laughs> now, bro. Like, think He's about not. it. And I think Oladipo isn't even back yet because he he got uh. He Oladipo's not... averaging like twenty though. Yeah, so. no. When Oladipo gets to... oh, actually, no, he's back. So when Oladipo, in order, like... in order for this to happen though, like the Pacers have to be like a top three. Uh, yeah, I know. I said if they keep if they, they keep like good. the pace that they're going, like you know, they can be good. The, the Pacers. This is the thing. They have always looked like a team. They've always been a team with the talent. They just never could stay healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they could. Exactly. Tj Tj Warren's already injured, bro. Yeah, I know, right? Like that. It's, all, it's always one of their starting five, bro. Yeah, their best players played the whole season. No, but, hey, this yeah. player played the whole season. And, 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 and Warren is out indefinitely, if I'm not mistaken, bro. Like they don't even know when he's gonna come back. Yeah, he had a foot foot injury, ain't it? Yep. That's the problem with them. Like, if they were just all healthy, like if they could all play 70 games each, man, they they I think Sabonis could win it, bro. If if they all were just healthy. I think all right, quickly, quickly, just back to the Suns and most importantly, Devin Booker right now. Shout out to my boy for actually trying on defense. Shout out to my boy for outplaying Donovan Mitchell so far this season, who you guys is the best shooting guard in the league. Yo, Donovan crazy. Mitchell always wow. starts off slow. He always let him start off slow. I don't care. So far, D Book and PG clearly, clearly two and three right now. Hard, you know, just I said two and three. Two and three. Hard and three. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Come on now. That hard average in 30, 40 points on like 72% true shooting percentage, bro. Yeah, so Harden is big. Kevin Durant shooting guard form. Crazy. Do y'all think uh still having no fans is, is impacting the numbers that some of these guys are putting up? No. I think it well, has to. Yeah, kind of. That's no cap, bro. But then again, some places, some cities, they got fans. So, you know. Yeah, but even then, I'm saying barely. Yo, like, yo, you see, yo. The, the 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 jazz fans they be wasting money to watch Rudy Gobert block shots you. Know? <laughs> and and Miss Layers was not forget Miss Layers and Dunk. Nah, I, 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 I'm I'm going to get off my boy Rudy Gobert though. By Please. the way, I just want to say the Raptors are playing the Pelicans right now Siakam has 2 points on 1 of 4 shooting from the field and 0 of 2 from 3. Just want to throw oh. that out there. Yo, get off my man Siakam. Thank you man. He, he, he also Thank he also has he also has 3 turnovers in 8 minutes. Just want to throw get that out there man. too. Thanks Thank Siakam. He Stop. smells. Stop. Dude, he sucks, man. Like, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Ingram is giving him buckets right now. It's a fact. Ingram is literally averaging. He, not average. Ingram, I mean, Ingram is KD. So, I mean. Hey, by the way. Okay, look. Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think Ingram could actually become the next KD? No. Like, be honest. He's more of, he's so DeRozan. It's crazy. He's like DeRozan with, uh, with KD's body type. Because how tall is Ingram? Isn't he like 6'10 now? I mean, around there. Yeah, right. so I wouldn't like, say the next KD, but you know, just like a baby KD, I guess. Because Ingram, like, if, if he can, because I don't think he's like he may never be as efficient as Kevin Durant, even though I think he can one day. Not like the 50, 40, 90 shit, but like I think 48, uh, 38, 88 shooting splits are not impossible for him. I think that. Do y'all agree? So you, so you're thinking, so you're thinking he'll be the Kobe to KD's MJ, bro. Mm, hey. <laughs> hey, that's a good that's a good analogy right there. That's a fact. Yes, Yo, dude. My computer like blew there up. There are times where I watch when you watch Ingram and he's just KD like. He can have plays where he looks just like Kevin Durant, bro. He's uh, more he he's more DeRozan, yo. He looks like Kobe. No, De, like dude, that three point shot just makes him different from DeRozan, in my opinion. I'm I'm saying offensively, he looks a lot like that. Like I know what you mean, DeRozan like how he operates the mid range. I agree. Yeah, with that. like yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, my, I my computer like blew up, so uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you sound good. You sound good. Yeah, you're it, good. It, okay, I'm good. Okay, yeah. Shout out right, the Suns, bro. Uh, quickly, like, quickly, speaking on the Nuggets, you know, I think I don't think it's anything to panic about, bro. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. Honestly, and they're just they they just need to close their games better. Like, yeah, guys, a lot of these fans gotta remember the season just started. Unless you're the Bulls, bro. It's, like it's, it's, it's five, six, free three, free Zach Levine, man. Start the hot man. Start, 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 no, I'm not. It's not even the Bulls, bro. Just free Zach Levine, bro. Here's, here's <laughs> the problem, bro. Oh, yo, lie, bro. No, yo, yo, we need to talk about we this that this is our next topic. Chicago. Okay, start mustard. Start mustard. Yeah, Chicago hey, look, situation. Look, look. Bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. One more one more thing. One more thing. One more thing before we okay. talk about the Bulls. 
Do you remember when Mustard would scream at the top of his lungs? When we had Jalen Brown in front of Zach, Levine. yeah, That's, I know. Uh, the tech looking kind of crazy right now, okay, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me yes, say this. Fuck up, bitch ass nigga. Oh my Let me god. Say, fuck you. Yo. Fuck you. Let me say this, bro. Let me say this. The season just started, yo. Ah, uh, you got that. You got that. You got oh that. My you got god. That. That's all he got. But, but, That's all he got. But let me keep it a buck. I owe you an apology, Jalen Brown. I was wrong. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, now Trey Young. Get on your knees. Now Trey Young. Actually, I got a video. I got a video dropping tomorrow about you, man. Not well, not about him specifically, but you know, I'm gonna talk about you, bro. Like, I owe you an apology. No, now Trey Young. My, my bad. Uh, no, Trey. Nah, nah, nah. He said he's not gonna say nothing because <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing about Trey yet because you know. Trey's fooled me before, yo. I've hopped like I don't think you understand. When has he fooled you, bro? They've no, never, no, they never won games. Wait, think about no, no. Here's the thing. I was on the Trey Young bandwagon when he was coming in the league. I was like, bro, this is gonna be nice. All this and that. Even uh, last year, I was like, bro, the Hawks look like they could be, they they could be really good. All that nigga let me down last year. So, and it wasn't just him. It's not just his fault. But he's a, he was a part of why they were so bad last year. You can't you can't just take that away. But Trey, like, I, I need to see more. I'm going to give it a couple weeks. But as of now, Trey is proving me wrong right now because he's doing his thing. I, I can't lie. He's doing his thing. Bro, how Tell do your stuff. words taste? Yo, how do your words taste? Bro, regardless, bro, we're not talking what? about them niggas. We're talking about the Bulls, bro. Let's talk. <laughs> let me let me say this. Let me say this. Um, I'm going to make this short because, you know, there's just not too much to say about this team because we suck. But I think it's time for us to let Laurie Markin go. Uh, Larry, no, wrong, wrong player. I, I, I wrong don't player. like. No, no, get him off the team. Free Zach get him off the team. Free uh, Zach. I think it's inevitable that he's gonna be gone. Uh, I think everyone thinks that now. Yeah, Even like Kenny like, was inevitable. talking about it today too. Uh, I think what they really want from him though, because you, you, if you actually look at the games, like he's not uh, playing like the best up to his capabilities and all that shit. Um, but I think a lot of it is his shot selection because he'd be going out there. Taking some really tough shots. I got. Mm. I got to say that. Uh, but I think eventually we're gonna trade him. Whether it's this year, I hope honestly. As much as it pains me to say this, uh, I kind of want it to be this year because I think next year is his last year on his deal, and you're not gonna get much for him at that point. Um, especially considering he's not like a superstar, or nothing. Like just imagine, like that's one of the reasons why I think the heart, the Rockets should trade Harden soon because like uh, after this year he's gonna be on an expiring deal, and same thing with Levine, like. You're even gonna get less than you would for Harden. Um, no, Sixers, Sixers need to hit up uh, the, Bulls. the Bulls. No cap. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I would, I would love to see night, Ben yo. Simmons um, with uh, with our team. Thing is, uh, not they're not whoa, 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 what, Levine. what, yes, bro. what, yes, give us, what? Ben give us, ben bro. They are not. I don't know. Ben I don't know what you think Zach Levine's value is, bro. Ben Simmons, bro. Right now, if you get if if uh. But if Zach, if you, Zach are, Levine, you are right now. Right now you're getting you're getting Danny Green, Matisse Thibault. Ew, yeah, ew, no, 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 no. That's a more realistic trade. Like, nope, 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 nope. You are, I do not you are not getting Zach. All right, you fine, are not fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll throw in, we'll throw in Tyree Max. If we throw in a bunch of picks, y'all telling me we can't get Ben Simmons, yo? No. What would you give up? You're like, oh, I don't give up specific pick. Specific all right, pick. No, 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 no. Okay. Look, this year's pick unprotected. Next year's, or not next year's, 2022 pick unprotected. Yeah. 2024 yeah. pick yeah. unprotected. That, I, is that what you're talking about? Is that, are those the picks? Is that even hey, worth I'll it? do that, bro. I will no, do that. No, there's no way. There's no way you're doing that. Ben <laughs> Simmons ben and Simmons? Co- actually, Ben Simmons, Kobe Wright, Otto Porter. Actually, Otto Porter will probably get traded for salary, ain't it? No, oh, this is last year anyway. You would trade basically like. I mean, the Bulls team show isn't bad. You get, oh, let me think about it. You get Simmons and you pair him with Laurie and Wendell. Is Laurie, is, is, uh, Laurie that's sucks. Bulls, okay, this, that's a good young core, no said, cap. Exactly. Nigga, what did I tell you, bro? Bro, this, this nigga guy. said, this nigga said, to, is telling us right now to trade Zach Levine and a bunch of unprotected first round picks for an athletic Draymond Green. I <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yo, <laughs> nah, yo. Yo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but doesn't that sound nice, though? Ben Simmons? Uh, Laurie no. and Wendell, that and Patrick Williams, not going anywhere, and Pat. Oh, dude, <laughs> this nigga just Dang, bro, you, you <laughs> both have it, yo. such just... low standards. Oh my gosh, yo. how is that low standards, bro? We would be a competitor, bro. You can't, you can't tell uh, me that that's not a nice young, 
okay, young okay, team. Okay, okay. Ben Simmons, Honestly, Kobe White, Patrick that's Williams. A, that's that, a nice that is a nice, that's a nice 31. That's a nice 31. Nice young core, but you exactly. Don't trade, well, chill you, out. That's you a don't nice 31. All those unprotected first chill round out, picks Darius. for a guy that's not even a generation. Hey, player. by the way, Darius, I just want to tell you that. I just want to tell you this, Darius. Didn't I tell you give Darius Garland some time? Didn't uh, I tell you that? Yeah. yeah. Didn't I tell you that, bro? No, Gabos was Garland? the first to tell me that. But... Wait, what? I, wait, time out. Y'all are tripping. I did tell you that, bro. I did tell you I that. No, yeah, that. he said you did. He said you I did. Didn't say that. He just said I was the first oh. one because but I have Gabos was the first one to fuck? tell me that. Oh. Well, I, I was I have been on the Darius Garland bandwagon since like before he even got drafted. I know like that that dude was nice. I said he only played five games in college, so you know you got to give him time, bro. Got to give him. Time. I hate the fact that Go Bell's takes right now are looking so good, <laughs> bro. I know <laughs> all of his takes from <laughs> before the season started. That's a Boy, fact, yo. yo. <laughs> and it's actually it. ridiculous because Go Bell like, has I a remember- third eye. I remember when I dropped my son. I dropped a video about the Suns. I was like, "Oh, can the Suns be contenders?" And like, I played Jay Smooth's clip of him saying they're gonna win sixty games in the beginning. And then I, I started my video. All the comments were like people getting on me as if I was the one who made that take. I was like, "Yo, that was Jay Smooth on the pod." And now I really wonder how all of them niggas is feeling right now because the Suns. Yeah. Nice. Yo, I can't wait, yo. Yo, I'm gonna. You know how they be doing them things on NBA Twitter, bro. <laughs> Apology sign here, bro. Yeah, sign here for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full base move. Apology you guys for to write me an apology, yo. I need it. This man, oh I want this third eye for real. I, I mean, I honestly, I don't it. even remember any of his other predictions. Honestly, so I have to go back and look. Hey, bro, like I said, I'll say this I called D Mitch and I'll I'll keep that with me for life, yo. I called, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, no, no, but you're, you're DeAndre A and take, yeah, you can throw that shot. Oh, boy, window, my man, yo, no, it's, uh, it's just the beginning of the season. It's just the beginning of the season. Oh, you can but, say that about your take, hey, like, right hey, now. hey, hey, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say he's probably not going to be a, an offensive like juggernaut, but his defense is deep poor level. So, actually, uh, before. So the Rockets, I want to spend a little bit of time about the Rockets right now because uh, when I look at this team, like they just finished beating the Kings and uh, I'm actually looking at the clip. Uh, thank God uh, uh, someone put it in our Discord and it says like uh, John Wall putting clamps on uh, Darren Fox. So what do y'all think the Rockets should do? Do you think they should keep Harden and try to run it back with this team or like they should just still trade him and let him go? Let me, ask, uh, let me start off with uh, you first, Darius, because you said the least so far. Yeah, sorry, I've been watching this Cavs game while y'all have been just screaming at the top of your yeah, no, fucking You're watching lungs. trash. <laughs> Hard <laughs> fuck up, bro. Anyway, um, he's wa- he's watching DeAndre Hunter give him buckets. Yeah. Anyway, uh, my thoughts on the Rockets and how they've done so far. Um, like I've said, and I'll keep saying this till uh, it happens. I think James Harden is going to get traded, and he's going to become a 76er. He's going to get traded for Ben Simmons, uh, probably. For like another, if like a bit like of first round picks, and um, I think the Sixers will be like a top three seed because of that, not because of Ben Simmons. Uh, the Rockets, I think they just, I think if if it works out, if it if it does work out with like John Wall, that why not like run it back if it if it looks really nice. Um, but I don't think that's gonna really convince. Like these first uh, five games haven't really convinced me on that. So, uh, no, I think uh, they should trade Harden and uh, he should pack his bags and get ready for a Philly. That's what they should. I think they should hold him at least a deadline, no matter what. Yeah, no, no, that's the mid season. That's why I've always been saying mid season trade for uh, Harden because, you know, Philly, I don't think, I think Ben Simmons is value. Like the way the Sixers see, the Sixers management sees Ben Simmons, like he, they see him as like a generational talent, even though he really isn't. Um, so. I mean, he's no, a deal. No, he's, he's a not, generational he's shot misser, yo. I mean, like he he, he has generational. All I know is Philly is looking nice right now, but yeah, he's still not shooting the ball. Like I'm just saying, they're they're, they're yeah. not gonna win like with those two on the same court. Like, oh, Joel is an MVP. Not gonna lie. Okay, let me ask Joel you is, if, if, if the Sixers, uh, if, let's say the Sixers get to the finals, right? Do you trade Simmons even at that point? Oh, what kind, what kind of question is that? No, that's, you don't trade that's, that's a the big Sixers what if, the, but... If the Sixers get to the finals, you keep him. You're like, yeah. why would you do that, yo? Well, actually, actually, I think it depends on how you lose. Because let's say yeah. they play the Lakers. Let's say they play the Lakers, and the Lakers actually put the clamps on them because Simmons can't shoot. Then that's I something you discuss. I was just about to say, yeah, because like, like, I think 
I still just don't believe you're never. I just don't think you're gonna win a championship with Ben Simmons as your point. Holy guard. Like, yo, Ben Simmons would be rendered useless. Exactly, literally so like, in that if, series. If they face the Lakers and it's embarrassing to the point that you just, it's just obvious Simmons and B just are never gonna win. Like, don't you think you got to move him? You also got to remind yourself, like, what would MB feel like? How would you feel about the situation? Because I, I, I'm you pretty know. sure I think MB. Well, I think if you're gonna friends. keep him, you would ask, I guess. Yeah, they are. They keep saying they keep saying they want to play with each other the rest of their careers and shit. Dude, like, they're, you nah, know, bro, know that's me. Bullshit, yo. I know, right? Like, come on, man. <laughs> niggas bullshit. Like, I remember he, Lamarcus Aldridge said he wants to be the greatest Blazer ever. Remember that shit? <laughs> and then he left. Exactly. Like, people, people can change their minds like this, or they always start like Kawhi said he wanted to be a spur for life, and then requested the trade. Yeah, but that's because well, that's because Tony Parker was out there talking shit, though. Yeah, yeah. Tony Parker was out here talking shit. The Spurs hold Kawhi, so I, I don't blame him for that. But but but, but th- th- this is my thing, right? The Rockets, I believe they should get rid of Harden. I do think they should get rid of Harden now because his value is at his peak. And if if he's on the last year of his deal, basically, because we he all know he's going to spam Danny Ainge's phone, bro. There's, there's, Tell that man there is no if you reason want. Why. Oh JD. shit! He has a player option next year. Yeah, he has a player option. Oh, yeah. he's out of there, yo. Yeah, who, he who? couldn't start properly. Required device because he can he can or... smooth opt out of that hole. That's a fact. I didn't even think about that. It's Why next year, that? not this year. Yo, what the no, fuck? Next year. Next, it's next year. Yeah, as I said, it's next year, not this year. Oh yeah, I, I know. But next year he could opt out. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why everybody's gonna say he's gonna become a free agent. That's why I'm like. I don't think it's... Wait, I don't so think after this season, he has opt-out? I don't know. After next season, I'm pretty After sure. next season. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. And, and, and that's like... And I that's why people I'm were like, like, you're only getting a year and a half. I was going to say, I, th- I, thought you were, I thought you were talking like, like next year's uh, opt-out. I was like, oh my gosh, wow. I was that's, like, Damn. That's why I'm like, what's it called? Um, Like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, I, I just don't like it. Like, I don't... You don't like uh, them. if there's don't anyone like, I want because Ben I, I Simmons is want pyramid, them, yeah. but if my number one target will be Jalen Brown, not even joking. Not even Jalen Brown, bro. I'm but if you get lie, Simmons, bro. you got to get John Wall out there. Though. I'm not gonna lie, I love MPJ. Like, yeah, but you would have you have to keep MPJ John Wall right for at least at least a year, bro. No one's taking him this year. But target MPJ, bro. I'd love to see MPJ. I'd love MPJ if I was a. How many years does John Wall have left? this year or next year? Dude, he got like three years. I left think yeah, yeah, three or four years, like. <laughs> he, he's gonna he's gonna be there for a while. Yeah, he's he's locked in, yo. Yeah, he's locked in for sure. Unless they can yeah, uh, get his uh, value up. I mean, he he been it's two games, but he's been looking really nice. Even so then, far. I think salary dumping him, you have to include a pick, and they already don't okay, have so, picks. So, even if you get some in the Simmons trade, he's under this year, next year, and twenty twenty three. So and twenty twenty three, yeah, twenty twenty three is a player option, and he's okay. So he's owed forty one million this year. Forty-four million next year. Yo, he is getting this Mac beyond the bag. He's getting the bag, bro. And forty-seven million dollars in twenty twenty-three. Yo, yo, he is out here robbing these teams. Yo, it makes no sense. Yeah, like I don't even think even if Wall like continues playing as good as he's playing, he's still not worth this contract. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. What if he's like a twenty-seven point per game score? Dude, he's never done. Oh, what if? That's what, a, what if, if. That, that that means he came back better than he was before. Yeah, uh, yo, Achilles tear means nothing. I'm not gonna lie, bro. These players are literally defeating like they're gonna defeat death next, bro. With the way <laughs> yeah. back and shit, like like yo, these dudes are Maybe we just got better with like <laughs> medicine and shit. Like that's yeah. how, that's how, I think we might get to a point where like torn Achilles don't really matter that much. Like it, it's, it's they're very like possible. Achilles tears. Yeah. Like I don't like Katie's mm-hmm. looking fucking amazing. That's a fact. But I I, I thought Katie was gonna look good though, regardless. Every every time he I hits the look good offensively. Floor, the like, but he isn't I attacking think... the rim though. That's something that people aren't really uh bringing avoiding up. Avoiding injury. Attacking. Avoiding injury. Maybe maybe it. maybe that might be it. Man, when you're that tall and you can stop on a dime and pull up, bro, might as well. Yo, it's unfair. Yo, when KD is guard, when you're guarding KD, it's just unfair. You just leave the match, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, no oh my gosh! There's nothing you can do to defend that mid range, bro. There's just literally nothing you can do. And you stand no. Ch- if he misses the shot, it's because he just missed the shot, yo. Hey, Jay Smooth, he's a, he's a uh, seven foot Demar Derozan. Yes. <laughs> uh, but Anyways, the uh, yeah, the last on. topic, the last topic for today, um, the we're gonna make some overreactions 
and do some uh, wait <laughs> overreaction. Yeah, yo, Jay Smooth been making overreaction. Yeah, 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 overreaction. No, that's, Jay, that's Jay Smooth right there, yo. Uh, damn, someone just tweeted out Siakam getting clamped up by Lonzo. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, it, it, yo. It, 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 it's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's that's rigged. rigged. That's the, no okay. Way. Let's start off with the most disappointing player so far. That uh, I don't think Siakam's disappointing because I thought he was gonna be trashed anyways. But uh, my disappointing player is uh, honestly, I'm gonna let y'all go first. Cause I'm kind of I'm thinking right now. I'm, I'm looking at the standings real quick. <laughs> Cause who do you got, Jace? Move. I know you gotta have somebody. Um. Well, I, I want I want go player. I don't want to go players first. You pick stuff, bro. You might as well. Cause that one is tough. I'd rather go team Steph. first. I mean, Chill. your step does suck, so <laughs> right, I got mine. It's not, it's not a terrible not the most disappointing. There is definitely. <laughs> yeah, are, 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 no, do y'all have, your, do y'all have yours? Because I'll I'll get mine if y'all don't have yours. I, I don't yeah, have go mine. Ahead. So. You can get yours. All right, mine's D'Angelo Russell. Oh Ooh. yeah! Oh yeah! That's a good one, yo. Shit, D'Lo has been disappointing. Like yo, shit. I mean, I kind of expected him to be garbage because I've but never this liked D'Lo. Yes. Wait, chill out. You didn't expect him to you 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 didn't think he could average thirty? I, have, I, have I mean no. not thirty. Thirty? Not thirty. Oh not thirty. My, I mean, <laughs> not 30. my bad. My bad. I meant I meant twenty. My bad. My t- my he's bad. averaging Yo, I don't, he's averaging sixteen. Honestly speaking, bro. I don't I mean, think I, I, I did, to everybody out there, I did not mean thirty. I swear I did not mean thirty. Bro, <laughs> it, this is this is honestly his team. Like I mean, obviously, you know, Cash gonna score the ball, but you're the second guy, so like it's your team too. Like I don't score the I ball, bro. But dude, he's not even getting to the line, bro. Like <laughs> Like that's what's also pissing me off. He doesn't even get to the line enough. That's a big issue with him because, like, I'm telling you, bro, if D'Lo put on like 30 pounds and got to the line, he'd literally be James Harden, bro. I'm not even lying to you, bro. He'd literally be James Harden if he could do that shit. But this dude, man was negative negative 32, bro. Okay, I I, I give you my most disappoint my most disappointing player. Is Luca so far? Yeah, I was gonna say Luca. I was, I was gonna say Luca. Actually, yeah. I actually was gonna say Luca. Luca, Luca. the Luca, most the man, the man shooting like he's shooting like four percent from three, bro. <laughs> but I, I don't the most, the most. No, he, like, I, no, yeah, no. I, 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 I was gonna I, pick I, him. I'm not gonna. I'm, he's I'm up there, gonna, but he said, I, I, he said it's it's his most. It, it's, not, it's not the. It's, it's his I'm, most. I'm, I'm not gonna go okay. cop out the easy way and say Ubre and, and fucking Andrew Wiggins. Well, I was I was gonna say them because I expect the Wiggins to be trash. But but like. I, what what I was gonna say was this: like Luca has not been that great offensively, especially for my MVP standards. You know what I mean? You, I expect him to be a candidate, and right now he's not looking so well. You know what I mean? Um, you expect him to put up bigger numbers, but he's taking a step back. You you can even you you know someone else that we could even talk about as well. What's hmm. his name? Um, D. Mitch. But then again, he starts like this every year. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I was ready. I was ready to hate on him, but I gave him a pass. He uh, shout like out Mike, Mike Conley. He shout always Mike does Lupin. this. He always does this, like for real. Mike Conley know. starting out strong. Oh, you could for disappointing. You can point our boy on because he went from twenty. Now he looking like a role player, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he peaked yeah. last year, low key. Not gonna, but he hasn't played ball in a long time. So, right, that is true. It is like let, I'll let him get into groove first before I. A shout out to PG, bro. He he tried, oh, George. He tried, he tried to bring him back last night, but he couldn't. So no, he gave me my boy PG sparked like four threes in a row in the fourth quarter. Like, come on, bro. He came in like four minutes left and sparked like four in a row. Yo, I don't think I don't think the league cares, yo. If he was missing them shots, I would be like, oh, no. hell no, know? they don't give a damn. What's he averaging? He's averaging twenty three points on good shooting. I need to get that up to like twenty five, bro. Wait, which one of y'all picked in for MVP? Because it's not looking good. Who? <laughs> Deep Devin ball. Booker, but Devin Booker has been underwhelming. I don't know. One, no, I swear someone here said PG is a sleeper MVP, but that's going to oh, make me, me, me. I said PG could uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for MVP candidate. But that, that's because he had the Clippers at one seed, so it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I, they could still be the one seed, though. Oh, we could throw Dame, throw Dame's name out. You know, he's getting carried by CJ. Just saying. Yo, EJ McCollum, bro. He said, said, nothing I, I don't, I don't, he said, I, I want to Dame. Bradley I don't think Pete. Dame could ever get carried by CJ because CJ benefits a lot by uh, Dame's attention. But DJ, yo, that man does have a Gucci bag, man. You cannot lie. No, I, he, he got a bag, though. I, I can't lie. He does. That boy like, average. I don't think anybody can guard CJ, bro. Like legit. Like I'm not gonna say he's unguardable. No, no. no. Dude, dude, but think about it. You know how many great defenders he's been cooking? Like he cooked Gary Harris. He cooked Paul George. 
Like he's cooked a lot of great defenders, bro. Did in he the cook playoffs. Gary Harris? Huh? Bro, Gary Jesus, Harris. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, he cooked the fuck he out of Nuggets. He didn't cook, like, yo, he didn't cook Gary Harris because Gary Harris was too busy on Damian Little and clamping the oh, life out of brother. him. Stop it, yo. He cooks everybody. That yes, man cook was everyone, in. Bro. DJ was Alpha cooking Chris. everybody in that series, though, dude. Stop it. No. My okay. Well, let me get to my disappointing player. Uh, my disappointing player. Uh. I should have expected it, but I think it's still Ben Simmons, bro. Every year, I still like, like I, he made he made a corner three, so I, I guess it's not well timed to say he's disappointing right now. So but, I mean, like, if, you're, if you're talking about his shooting, then he's still disappointing. Yeah, that that's why I say he's disappointing because like he's still doing the same shit, bro. Like he's still not even trying. So fuck that guy, yo. Like it pisses me off. It's like his offense is his his offense has not gotten better. Every single year of his career, nothing has gotten better on offense. Has not improved. Like, ugh, it just annoys me because, like, I'll still see people go out there and say he's, like, an elite playmaker. And I'm like, yo, he is not an elite playmaker, man. You can't be an elite playmaker and not be able to shoot. I'm I mean, sorry. He, I mean, he is an elite playmaker. Forget be able. Though. Forget be Rick, able to shoot. Ricky, not, Ricky, not Rubio shoot. Is an elite, Ricky Rubio is an elite playmaker. I'm talking about not shoot, like not shoot the ball. Oh, no, just not, not like, shooting the ball at all? Yeah. Okay, I feel you. Please, shout out, shout out to Gold Bells. He's, he's, um, you know, said he's a regular season player. Uh, Big, big Eric Bledsoe, man. Getting outplayed hey, by 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 the, the, the trash player that is Lonzo Ball. It's crazy. Hey, bro, getting outplayed by a triple B bus. Crazy, yo. Yeah, that, that's your that's your guy, J Smooth. How you feel? Oh no, I flipped on him, bro. He proved yo. He 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 pissed me off, yo. Never never been so mad in my life, yo. Didn't I tell him, you bro. Bledsoe sucks though, and you didn't listen I mean, to me? Sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I to tell you. like give the nigga a chance, yo. That's why I gave him a chance. Dude, he smells like he honestly smells. He smells good. <laughs> Yo, what? Averaging ten points, two rebounds, and three assists. Right, bro. but let's let's Yo, move on to the next cat. Yo, send send, send, Bled, send Bledsoe to New York, bro. Go What's get. Next, yeah, that's a fact. Alec Burks, that's yeah. How about um, most surprising player? Sabonis, probably. Honestly. No, I was not surprised by him. He's not. Uh, he's yeah, not. Yeah. Nah, that's not surprising. I, I mean, he was I'm doing not, shit last go, year. You know what? Yo, they, I, not have, like I, have, I have. I have. No, no, no. Not no, like no, no. This. Hey, hey, can I? Can I change my most disappointing player? Um, thing. Who? I would like to say DeAndre Aiden because he's being a Ooh, soft. Oh yeah, player. that's a fact, yo. That's oh, I want to say. I just, I, I just gotta say, yo, he's soft. You gotta. Yeah, stop I'm not gonna lie. He he literally is soft. Like people talk about cat being soft. He's soft. Like this dude won't get to the line. He's not aggressive. I think he's only averaging like what eight shots, nine shots a game right now. Like, bro, dude, step up. I, uh, Yo, could you imagine shot taking point, fadeaway mirror and jumpers? I was gonna pick Luca, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be different. I'm gonna go with uh, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Jimmy Butler. Uh, I mean, it's only it's I only mean, been like two and a half games for him though. So I yeah, I've been get on Jimmy too much, bro. Jimmy not Butler. Yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> like you not know. You I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. But I wouldn't call him disappointing though. Jimmy Butler wakes up so far. He's just an ass. Just to average, just to go over for six, yo. I know. I, I, I got two. I got two. Yeah, one, I one of them. That that Dallas game. That was not a good, yo. <laughs> that that was was a player. Five a.m. Just go over six, bro. I can't, man. But didn't we tell you this? Like when we were ranking our players, y'all. I think it was Darius or Bean. I don't remember who. Y'all were mad we had him below Tatum and shit. And I was like, yo, he's literally like Nicholas Batum, bro. Like, like, come on now. <laughs> Draymond Green with the help of I, know, I, I wasn't really mad about it, but I, I just felt like you had to put a little bit of respect on him. But then, but I mean, then, but then, but you. then you guys reminded me. Then you guys reminded me that we we're doing this based on how they would do this season, and it's pretty obvious it's going to be better. And like, the thing, the is, the thing about Jimmy, thing about Jimmy, his defense will always be elite. I'll ne- I'll never take away from that. But the thing about Jimmy is like his offense. Like I don't know what happened since he got to Miami, but before then, bro, like. He was a great, not great. Let me not force, but he, he was, was a, good a really shooter. good. Well, he had his shooting, yeah, that that also. But like, he was just a a far better off, and it might be his shooting. You're right, but his offense was just different. Like he was at least able to go out there and give you twenty a night on a, on any given basis. He could play make and all that, and he's still a good playmaker. But like now, it's just like he just doesn't care about like going out there. He doesn't now. Yeah, he literally doesn't unless the, until the playoffs come. But even yeah, but like shit, bro. Eight Yo, he be points? getting he be getting carried by Goran Dragic, bro. It makes and, and, niggas, and niggas were mad when I said Dragic is their best offensive player, bro. It's the it's the truth. He is their best offensive. Look, player. he runs the off 
defense. He makes great plays. He can shoot the ball. So, I mean, it's not crazy to say, honestly. Yeah, Dragic is easily their best offensive player. A disappointing opinion. player, but, I mean, the season just started, but um, there is easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I want my boy to be a little bit more aggressive, you know? Yeah, oh, actually, I agree, bro. On the topic of the Thunder, hey, my Shay Shay too, bro. Shoot uh, the ball, my, bro. My surprising player uh, is actually Lucas Dort because I'm Woo! shocked. I'm yes, shocked sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Shout I'm, out to my boy. I'm hey, shocked hey, this guy's actually going out there and making threes, bro. Like that, that that's scary. For the NBA, that Yo, Lucas Dort is making threes. The NBA is shaking right now, bro. <laughs> hey, he, he hey, had bro. my boy Donovan Mitchell in an eater until the fourth quarter. Hey, that's and, a Donovan, that, and Donovan Mitchell killed him. My nigga was in a straight jacket, yo. Nigga. Until the fourth quarter. <laughs> nah, no. D. Mitch gave him buckets. and I think he had like, what, 13 or like 15? No, it was just it was just them go bear screens, yo. Go bear screens yeah. were insane, yo. Yeah, and to, yo. D, yo, Shay, yo, Shay should have made that game when he Let me out, ask y'all this. Do y'all think Considering like the jazz situation and their market and all that, do y'all how overpaid do y'all think Gobert is? I don't know. I think they I don't I think severely. That, I don't think he's that overpaid. <laughs> I I think they had no choice but to do that. Thank you, bro. I was literally I was arguing with people in my my group chat earlier today. They were like, "Oh, Gobert is just he's overpaid as fuck." Like all this and that. I'm like, bro. First of all, like he was all NBA player, so he qualified for the super max, right? Secondly, like not only that, but they're a small market, like. They can't afford to lose a player like Rudy Gobert. Like I, that sounds sad. It really does. That Gobert's Not gonna sad. go. Di- no, I mean, like, no, considering like like great teams in the league, the fact the fact that like, I mean, I guess it's not sad in theory. He's like the best rim protector in basketball. I still don't think you have to give him the super max. Yo, yo, I, yo, I, that's what's crazy. Him, was that really the, like the most they could give him though? No, that was they didn't give him the super max. I was to they say two or five. five is not the most they could give him. It's like two. Yo, but, or something like that but like I, I, yo i swear people act like people are acting like go go bear bro like any center in the league can do what go bear can do bro. thank I you, swear you bro. Thank nobody you. can no, not every like, center in the league to walk can do up because like literally if you remove go bear from that team that's a literally bottom 10 team def- on defense bro bottom 10 I don't even care. Well, I guess they got Derek Favors, so you know whatever i, I think i think it depends i think it depends on i've i've consistently said this if you replace Gobert with Clint Capella, playoffs. With who? Clint Capella. With Clint Capella. No, they I, I don't, don't make so, the playoffs, yeah. dude. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying they have a great defense, but I still think. I mean, with Gobert, I still have them like eight seed. So well, I think with this. Capella, they're nine, ten seed. But I don't think people understand that, like, literally. But like, Gobert made them like one of the greatest defensive teams of all time at a point in time, bro. Like, they were holding in this NBA. This is so impressive. They were holding. Te- Teams to under a hundred points a game. You know how impressive that is. Like you know, that is insane. And, and, you know what's even more crazy and, and, and about I, it? They're paying seventy-two million dollars to them for them to lose in the first round. <laughs> I mean, right. Okay, yeah, that's that. But they're a small market, so to them, being competitive is good enough. I hate to say that, but that, 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 I'm getting OKC vibes, man. <laughs> no, so, OKC like, at least had a chance to like win a championship. Yeah. I was talking about post post KD. I gotta apologize to Goberto because I be talking shit too. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, I, 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 I I be talking shit about him, but you know he does have a huge impact in the league. And I was thinking, you know, like recently, I was like, yo, bro, if if everybody could do what he could do, bro, then a bunch of centers would be fucking Rudy Gobert averaging. 15 and 13, but they just can't. They don't have the impact that he does. They don't have the oh, no, of course, That's true. He's like, he's, he basically does not miss any shots inside the paint, even if he has two dudes on him, bro. Like, and like people, people be calling him overrated, but I'm like, dude, who overrates Rudy Gobert? Everybody hates him. That's what like, I mean. You know, no, you can't be overrated if people think you suck. Bro, like, is, I, is him the player overpaid? Yes. For the organization, is it an overpay? I would say no, because you have yeah. to keep him. You have but, you can't let him just leave. Like it's, it's literally it's literally just like the Westbrook situation, bro. You can't let if they let Westbrook walk, uh, our franchise is in poverty, bro. Exactly. <laughs> literally, and like literally, I, and like I don't think people get it's it's just as it's, okay. Let me not say it's just as valuable, but it's valuable for a t- for a small market team. That's their number one goal to just be competitive because you're not making as much money as other teams. Like the Knicks, right? The Knicks will always make money because they're in New York. The Jazz will not always make money, even though they're good. So, like, staying competitive is the number one priority because a championship 
you're ne- probably never going to win a championship. I hate to say this for, to Jazz fans. It's probably going to be a lifetime until y'all win a championship. Their are only chance is to have, like, a Miami Heat type season type. Yeah, show. <laughs> or to somehow, like, tank and just get, like, some generational talent. No cap. That's literally the only thing they can do. And would you just let Gobert and Mitchell? Because D. Mitch is locked in, right, for, like, another five years. Oh, so, Gobert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now you gotta you gotta lock in Gobert because this is the most success they've had since like what the Carl Malone John Stockton era. Hey, all I yep. know is Which even is even there are a lot of small market teams that make championship contenders. They have five years to do it, and I think like even if that's not a free agent destination, you can you can make something out of that. Exactly. So. They like last year they they were able to bring in Jordan Clarkson via trade, and that was a great pickup. Mike Conley, mm-hmm. I think, is going to be off the books after this year. So, like, actually, yeah, they don't have money to spend. So, like, they're going to have to probably re-sign him, if anything, to be honest. Yeah, but, maybe. Well, my boy going to be – he going to go be Jaws back up in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A fact, I'll, yo. That would be low-key funny. But um, yeah, he, he he never should have left Memphis. I kind of wanted him to retire there, man. No, no. He, it's good if he leave Memphis, yo. Oh, well. I or, he could, or he could hop – go slide to L.A. Him, him Gasol – and I guess Gasol, it worked out for him because he got a ring. But him, Gasol, and Zach Randolph, I always feel like they should have retired in Memphis, man. Like Bo. they were the identity of that team, bro. They were really the identity identity of that culture. Well, sometimes stuff must end, you know. So, so, sometimes things have to end, you know. Good things all come to an end. So yeah, yeah the yeah. market worked out like the best. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, I, yo, but 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 let yeah let, let let's go back on top of what the most improved um what's it called the most, um, surprising most improved players. players. Like most surprising. Me, oh, most surprising. I have players. my three, so I'll go. Uh, mm-hmm. I, oh, all right. So this is like a tie for me. Like I, these all just surprised me out of nowhere. Um, the first one, Victor Oladipo. I was quite surprised that he's playing this well. Um, hey, yes, sir. This is early. Like I thought it would uh, give him. It would need like he would need time to get back into uh, gear, but. Seems like it's just not uh, necessary. He he's been playing fucking amazing. Uh, second is Julius Randle. I tend to ah, uh, he stole mine. Yeah, Julius <laughs> Randle. I have, he's, he's damn near averaging like a, a triple double, I think, which is mm. and he has like a good efficiency too. And the third, um, mm-hmm. this is a personal one. Uh, I'm putting Andre Drummond on here. Uh, offensively, he's not yeah, been good. Sir, yeah, sir. but. Defensively, he's been fucking amazing. It's it's damn near. I would say as of right now, it's like it's six games, but as of right now, he would. I think he should be considered a deep point candidate. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's that's the case right now. Yo, that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some out. I hate that name. Uh, one of mine, uh, T Ross. That was Ross. Who, any nigga been, hoop balls? Yeah, he's been hooping this year. T Ross been hooping. Yeah, he's got like two twenty. He's got like three twenty point games, if I'm not mistaken, yo. Bro, he he's Average what we twenty one right. He's now. what we expected Steph Curry to be. Yo. Oh my, oh my Jesus, crazy yo. This guy smells, bro. I swear. <laughs> this dude just wants to piss me off. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Piss me off. <laughs> Another one of mine. It, I'm not gonna say it's surprising, but I'm just giving him a shout out. Shout out Seth Curry, man. His his impact. His impact on the Sixers, like shout out Seth Curry, bro. Like, cause they literally, they literally just throw him on the same side as Embiid, and they can't double him, and it's working out tremendously right now. That's a fact, shout, yo. So shout out Seth. Uh, so I remember I was talking to some people because JJ JJ averaged like eighteen on the Sixers. I was talking to some people. I was like, I was like, my prediction Seth's gonna average like sixteen to eighteen points this year, and someone thought it was crazy to say that. Cause he's on the Sixers, and I was like, I don't, I don't know how it's crazy to say that Seth's gonna average 16, 18 points. And look at him now. And I said this, I like Seth Curry. Like, I know he's not like the point guard, but I literally said, like, just imagine if I said that they the, the Sixers would be better if they had Rondo. Not gonna lie to you, instead of Ben Simmons. Cause like, dude, imagine mm, how much freedom, I bro. What? Why are you saying? Why are you saying? Imagine so much freedom. Nobody guard is gonna guard Rondo either. But teams aren't gonna Rondo's just. Rondo's gonna shoot the ball, at least. Exactly. Yo, if, 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 yo, if, if, if Rondo is gonna beat you with six three. Okay, what about George so Hill? What about George it, Hill? Yo. George Hill, bet. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. George Hill, yeah. George, George Hill's a good one. Rondo, I say, if, if Rondo's gonna beat you with six threes, yo, so be it, yo. I was, I was gonna say, I'd rather have. I'd rather have George Hill be the 
backup or something like that. Like, I, rather, I mean, not George Hill. Rondo be the backup. Like, if you're point guard for Rondo and George Hill, okay, that's true, cool. true. Because like the thing is, I wanted to say Rondo because like like I still think Simmons playmaking is somewhat valuable, and and Hill is not like a great playmaker like that. Uh, but Rondo, I guess, yeah, considering he's not like he's the below average shooter, I would probably want him off the bench. So, do y'all think Hill would be better for them instead of Ben Simmons? Yeah, George I mean, Hill would be way better. I mean, for them. I'm, I'm still not going to disrespect Simmons, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Matter of fact, I'll say, I, I say Simmons would be better simply due to the fact that Defense, Simmons, that. Simmons, defensively, Simmons has been amazing. Yeah, they have two. They have two boy. deep boy cats right now, yeah. bro. Because uh, well, Embiid has been playing that, great, too. Yeah, that has Embiid, to go yeah. to one of our other. But I don't know if Embiid's a deep boy candidate right now. I don't know he's about been, that. Yo, he's been, he's been good on defense. No, I know he's defense, been good, but deep boy, I don't think he's been better than Simmons, bro. No, no, he's okay, not. He no, no, no. I'm Simmons, saying, though. I said they have two deep boy candidates. Obviously, I would have Simmons ahead of him. Okay, okay, okay. But Simmons, I, like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Simmons is literally, like, a perfect Draymond Green. Like, I'm not even going to lie. And that sounds no. sad. It sounds sad, but, like, that's a good player. That's still a great player, bro. Like, oh, you wasted your first round pick on Draymond Green. That's okay. <laughs> so tough. He's a better Draymond, though. He's a better Draymond. So tough. Which is a good, that's still a good player, yo, chill. But like I, no, okay. But Simmons, bro. Simmons is gonna become like I can already see it. I think Simmons can become like one of the greatest defenders like this we've ever seen. Cause like, like what is he in like his fourth year in the league, and he's already gonna probably win deep boy this year at this pace. And then like I can see him winning like multiple deep boys, bro. Cause he first PG since Baron Davis. That's in Baron Davis. I'm tripping. So what? <laughs> Baron Davis. <laughs> it clipped that out. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, who's, the last, who's the last point guard to win that shit? Gary, 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 Gary Payton. That's what I meant. Gary Payton. Gary Payton. But hey, uh, yo, first PG since uh, since Baron Davis. Yo, yo just, <laughs> <laughs> I bro. will not know. I'm never gonna let you live that through, bro. Just let you know. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you lacking, bro. <laughs> oh, and my my last person is uh probably Terry. I'll throw Terry Rose here. Shout out, bro. Not surprised. My boy, my boy yeah, been playing it's well. It's not a surprise, though. Nah, bro. I is, really this thought is he was. I swear to God, I thought, I thought he was going to be on the bench. No cap. <laughs> nah. But it turns out Devontae Graham, they, they Devontae bench, Graham is the ass. Uh, and Devontae, they're tripping. They're tripping for that because Devontae no, is not. No, no, no. Because LaMelo, let's be honest, he has a lot of holes in his offensive game. I know he's had a little. Uh, he's had some games as of late, but like. That first game should have told you like all you need. Uh, to know. Hey, oh, look at him. Stop, stop, look at him. Stop, stop, ever stop. since. He's a look at too. look how he's hooping ever know, since. Come on now. He's hooping. I'll give him that. But like I'm talking like they probably and look and look at his three point shot. Come on now. No, I'm I know, but like coming into that, like everybody had questions about his offense. Like be honest. Like come on now. Yeah, his shot yeah. was suspect. Like he didn't really play well in the preseason, even though it was just the preseason, you know. But. Like, be honest with yourself. Like, he had a lot of holes coming into the... Bro, the, just give him the keys to the offense, bro. That's my Yeah, thought. now I think they should just start him because Devont, Devontae smells, bro. Like, he's not good right now. He has he has three points right now against the Sixers. One for nine. I mean, he's probably oh, being guarded by Ben Simmons. I that, just, man, that man literally... Terry like, Rozier has 30 points in his third quarter, so I'm guessing... Wait, this is being guarded. Yeah, really? he got what? He has 30 points in his third quarter. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Are you Terry? saying this? Yo, Terry Rozier is a... Oh my yo, I love him, yo. And ten for fourteen from the yo, field, five for five. Steph Curry oh my would be yo. Yo, there is, there is. Bro. Bro. Oh, I, I, you know what? Brush past that. Curry, Curry, Curry. By the way, that Curry gave him forty, bro. By the way, that dunk that he had on uh, what's his name, Kevin Durant. Durant. I'm not gonna lie. Bro. The announcer, no, it's not overrated. That the announcer. Made that way more live than it should have been, yo. Yo, <laughs> that, that, that just reminded me of when Bismack airballed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, yo when Bismack airballed that out. What is he? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He sounded, yo, he sounded like he watched someone get shot, bro. That's that shit was that's, lame. That's literally what I said, yo. This nigga, this nigga. <laughs> yo, my computer is retarded, yo. Bro, the storm. The Hornets easy at the best announcers. Hornets, oh, what's his echo, bro? Bro, he is too good to be announcing for all that losing, bro. Yeah, I know. Oh. His, his He makes everything way more live than it should be, bro. Be and, like, because that Terry Rozier dunk, really, Katie was just trying to chase him down. But still, if you could chase down to foul him, you could have blocked it. So, yo, that is, I, that, I, I mean, I mean, yo, that was 
body to body meet to me yeah he, he dunked yo. on that nigga yo he dunked yes on. yo oh my gosh and but, katie i ain't gonna lie katie it's not really that big of a deal because katie's been dunked on like by so many guys like even like katie got dunked on like three times that game bro <laughs> <laughs> yo that's a fact remember he got dunked on by richard jefferson Yo, I remember that shit, yo. And then that's the that same shit. game Clay got dunked on by Richard Jefferson, too, yo. That shit was Gay fire. Thompson. That was awesome. Hey, by the way, Darius, is uh, Richard Jefferson a Cavs legend? I won't really. No, not really. Is, is, isn't he an, an NBA champion? Yeah. Yeah, we, we get we give this man, Julius Randle, a shout out, and he come out here shooting three for 12, man. Yeah, no, Julius <laughs> Randle's starting to slow down, but... Wow! This nigga. Yo, the, I, I mean, he's, 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 he's still, he's still no about life. to get a triple double, bro. He's, he's still about to get a triple up. double, bro. Yo, wait, wait, he's bro. playing bad tonight? Yeah, he is. Oh my god, bro! I literally shouted him out of my video today, yo. Bro, oh. he's still about to get a triple double, though, bro. Yo, he bro, is Nick that, Lola, yo, kitch, bro. He's they're up, Lola, look, they're yo, up on the Pacers, and he's about to have a triple double. So who's yeah. the who's the most surprising team? I don't like. Dang, I didn't even get to say my list. Me on Muster. Go ahead. Bro, the, like, so how long have we been on doing wait. this? It's been wait, like 30 for what? minutes. The list? We got to hurry I, this yo, up. We got to hurry yo, this yo, up. Yo, yo, I'll, I'll hurry, okay? I'll hurry, I'll hurry, okay? Wait, what list? What are we doing? We're doing the early awards. You forget? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My yo, like, you like most surprising players. Number one for me, Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant, yo. I'm not going to lie. Although I said he was going to, he is a, not a preseason player. The preseason did kind of scare me. But he looks really nice right now. He's like a 23 point per game score. And he's getting like ISO buckets and shit. So I want to give him a shout out. He's been real nice, right? Um, I want to give a shout out to Rashawn Holmes. Rashawn Holmes has been really good. Not just offensively, but defensively. He's been in insane yo like his rim protecting his ability to guard on the perimeter as a big perfect right like, <laughs> wonderful you really kissed the air yeah bro and then number three for for me the most one of the most surprising players markel Fultz. you know he stepped it up he stepped up his game he's looking better you know although in this game he's not looking the best you know but he 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 looking good you know that man had two good games chill out bro <laughs> this man john john wall said I feel like I'm the greatest shot blocking point guard of all time. <laughs> I mean, who's guy. better? Who's better? I couldn't think of anyone. That's why I was like, "Hey, man, you might have that." He, he might, but like, what is that to like, like, what kind of thing? I, I'm that? guessing. I'm hey, guessing hey. someone. Someone asked him about his defense. Yo, the Kimbe Wall. Yo. All right, the most surprising yo. teams. Avail hit another. Three. Let's just finish this up. Oh no, he hit a fader. Uh, my he, most surprising team is uh. I guess considering they're losing, it's, it sucks right now. But I would probably say uh, the Pacers because I, I still or no 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 no. I'm sorry. My most surprising team is the Magic. My bad. My bad. Right now, I would say the Magic probably most surprising team. Even though they um, always kind of start off good, but you know it's still kind of shocking to see them actually winning games. Uh, my team would have to be uh, the, the the Wizards because even even with their terrible defensive, we expect. It, they still choked in the fourth quarter. Like oh, they wait, were still wait, in those. They were still in a lot of those. Games. Surprising. <laughs> well, I thought, yeah. What's not, I, I, what, how yeah. was that not surprising? No one, no one expected them to go. Yeah, oh, that's, what that's we, what we mean, right. mean like so, surprising wait, in a good way. My bad. We mean surprising. I in a guess. Way. All right, it might yeah. be the Hawks. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh yeah, the Hawks. I kind of flip mine now. The Hawks, yeah. Or actually, no, the Cavs. <laughs> the Cavs. I take that back. Y'all, y'all are actually somewhat respectable. Darius, yeah, better than your Yo, fucking trash ass bulls. I'd say, hey, I'd say hey I gave Mitchell. you a compliment, bro. Take it or leave it. <sighs> I, I Yo, was gonna I'd say, say the Knicks, Cavs. Yo. Yeah, y'all uh, suck. I was gonna say the Cavs. I'm, I'm surprised we even got like three wins right now. So, <laughs> that's so sad. I, I, I'd say the Enjoy Knicks, bro. The wins. Knicks, the, the fact that they're able to win, you hey, like, one less than y'all, bum. That's that. That's pretty nice, you know what I mean. The the Knicks have been surprising to me. The Kings, matter of fact, I think yo the Kings, yo, the way that they've been winning close games, all they've lost recently, back to back to the Rockets. Oh yeah, the way actually, that they've been I, I able to win close the Kings, games. Yeah. Buddy Hield's defense has actually.
actually been pretty nice. Oh my gosh, that's not lasting, bro. That's not lasting. Yo, I, I, I okay, okay. Effort can last. That's what I mean. It's not just like him getting longer. And, and it's like, crazy because like I literally went on last. my last. I literally posted like a video a couple of days ago, and I was like, bro, Buddy Hill's just a shooter. And people were telling me in the comments, oh, his defense is this much better. I'm like. Yeah, I gotta see more than that. It, it, it's it's gotten better, and they're getting better despite Bagley being so garbage, yo. Bagley Marvin, sucks. Yo, he is he is Marvin Lay because he has no bag, yo. I swear, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Marvin Lay. Uh, Marvin <laughs> Lay, <laughs> no bag. Marvin yo, Lay, we should bro. just call I'm... Marvin Bagley Marvin Lay for the rest of this podcast, like. Not, yes. not, not just talking about this episode, like, for the rest of this fucking show. Marvin Lay, yo, there's no way, bro. Mar- Niggas, I'm sorry. No bro. bag. That's, that's hilarious to me, bro. <laughs> Niggas, no bag, bro. This is... But, like, besides that, I mean, he's... At least he's improved on defense a bit, but he's still getting abused like Dude, crazy. he still but, sucks like, on defense. What the fuck? Yeah, he, post, he had some good defensive games, especially against Jokic, which was just yeah, surprising. Yeah. But, yeah, um, five um, years a game? Jesus. Like he's 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 not so nice. Like, but even then, like that King scene is playing real nice. Halliburton, hey bro, I did say he would be a really nice rookie, bro. Some people didn't like him, but um, I wasn't worried I about. Told you he was gonna be a draft steal. I told, told you he's nice. He's, the he's next, really the next nice. Stay fumbling, bro. <laughs> Yo. uh, yeah, bro. Gabos and I were watching that game, bro. Like he he was going crazy in the fourth. Obi Toppin smells, bro. He's no, been, he's been in injured. He's been no bro, injured. I, that bro. one game is a sign of things to come. He's going to be yeah. trash. It's his de- rookie. It's his debut in the NBA. Like I said, like I said, that's literally a sign of things to come. He's going to yeah. be cool. This dude's such a fucking Knicks OB hater, bro. Flopping, bro. Oh, man. Anybody the Knicks draft career dies instantly. <laughs> so you think, you think it's over for RJ, bro? Yeah, it's over. RJ so has been playing team. ass. I, I won't, I won't the only, lie. The only one that's going to make it out alive is and he just can't stay out of foul trouble. Mitchell, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, do you guys, do you guys know that uh, RJ is uh, averaging more attempted field goals than points per game? Did you guys know that? Oh, Holy Is he for real? Yeah. He's taking, bro, that, he's taking that many shots a game out. Yeah. Bro, he, he literally he, he jacks up threes for no reason, bro. Not bro, I swear, I I swear whenever I look at the box score, I'm not playing bad. Yo, I think he gives right now, NBA eight. teams like that. the most rebounds. Yeah. I think he gives NBA teams the most rebounds. He gives the NBA teams the most rebounds. I don't know, man. Westbrook. I, I, see, I was going to say Westbrook, but Westbrook get his own board, no cap. <laughs> no cap, bro. So, like, I mean, that's something, you know. Hard is a brick right now, but he, I think he'll bounce back. It's. Yeah. Season, but, I don't even know. I think um, he's playing right now, but I don't know how he's playing. I'm not checking that right now. So, so he's about to wrap so, it up. What, what? No, no. Real quick, before we, last one. What's our? What's your most disappointing teams? Washington Wizards. Oh, it's the Wizards. It's not even close, honestly. Uh, yeah, the Wizards. The Lizards? I feel you. Who Can't you be mad have? at you for that. Um, I got. For me, I wouldn't even say it. it. It probably is the Wizards too, bro. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a different route. I'm gonna go on a different route. But they've played hard teams. I'm gonna say the Nuggets. And although I don't think it's gonna last, I do believe that they have to play better. You know what I mean? Like you can't like they they've struggled to close games. Um. Um. Will Barton, Will the Thrill, aka I am a fucking starter in this league. Will Barton <laughs> put up a, a classic two points. Four rebounds, five assists a game. He's a nice player, but he has to step up if MPJ is going to be out for a week since he got COVID. Um, but, like, I just believe that the defense has not been good. The bench has been absolutely atrocious, right? Like, PJ Dozier, I, I, I'm so sick and tired of seeing that dude. But, you know, I can't I can't be mad, you know what I mean? Like, it, I don't think this is going to last forever, so. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, I think that con- that concludes the yeah, episode. That though. concludes it, I think. But uh, yeah, um, make sure y'all give us a nice review, <laughs> nice uh, rating. Make sure, sure y'all follow follow the YouTube channel. Also, hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Uh, notification bell, all of that. Follow us on social media. All of our links are in the description box. Um, and we out. Y'all got anything else to say?
Yeah, 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 one more thing, one more thing. Quickly, you know, we started this thing end of last year. Or I say like, what was it, like September? September last year, man. We're going into year two, and we're growing. We appreciate all of our fans so far who stuck with us, you know, and uh, ignore Jay Smooth's terrible text. We can't do nothing about it, y'all. We're so sorry, Yeah, bro. man, we try our best. <laughs> It's oh, funny because hey, his takes terrible, are looking right so far. Terrible takes, yo. Terrible no, actually, takes. they're not terrible right yeah. now, I guess. Except, except, for, the, except for the Curry it's takes. Except for the Curry takes. There's a difference between his predictions and are his Are the Curry takes, takes even that bad? They suck, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Clay Thompson is the world player. <laughs> I, I can't stand Jason Blue. I hate this guy, yo. So serious. Uh, we appreciate y'all, fuck man. You, let's, let's go crazy this mm. year, man. Hey, bro. Fuck you too, bitch. Whore. Nasty no. ass guy. You Whore. Smell. You reek. All right, we out. <laughs>